subscribe. Click on the bell. Like, comment, share. We have seen that the number of particles in one mole of a substance is the Avogadro number. Click on mole. How do we measure the mass of one mole of a substance? Click on mass. The mass of one mole of an element is its relative atomic mass in grams. Now click on relative atomic mass. The mass of one mole of compound is its relative molecular mass in grams. Click on relative molecular mass. Molar mass equals to mass of one mole of a substance with a unit gram per mole. Since one mole of a substance contains Avogadro's number of particles, therefore, molar mass equals to mass of 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 particles of a substance in grams. Relative mass of an element or compound, AR or MR. Molar mass equals to mass of one mole of an element or compound in grams. Equals to relative atomic mass in grams equals to relative molecular mass in grams. Relative atomic mass AR in grams. For example, molar mass of copper is 64 grams. Relative molecular mass MR in grams. For example, molar mass of water is 18 grams. Let us look at some examples of molar mass of a substance. Click on carbon. The unit for molar mass is grams per mole. To see the molar mass of other substances, click on boron, aluminium, sulphur and carbon dioxide. Solve numerical problems to convert the number of moles of a given substance to its mass and vice versa. Let us calculate the number of moles of a substance given its mass. Click on example 1. First, find the molar mass for magnesium. Click on step 1. Now, click on step 2 to see the answer. Number of particles present, let us calculate the number of moles of a substance. Click on example 1. First, find the molar mass for magnesium. Click on step 1. Number of particles present in a given mass of a substance. First, find the molar mass and the number of moles for sulfur dioxide. Click on step 1 and step 2. Click on step 3 to see the answer. Can you calculate the number of atoms present in 16 grams of sulphur dioxide? Click on step 4 to check on the answer. If the number of particles is given, the mass of a substance can be calculated. Click on example 1. First, find the molar mass for iron. Click on step 1. Click on step 2 to see the answer. Summary Some useful relationships to be used for calculations.
The molar mass of a substance is the mass of one mole of the substance with the unit grams per mole. The mass of one mole of element is equal to relative atomic mass in grams. The mass of one mole of compound is equal to relative molecular mass in grams. Click on the blinking button to proceed. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon.